Hi guys, I just wanted to show y'all this big mess of wild lettuce that I was able to gather today on my way home. Today and tomorrow are my eight hour days. Um, <clears throat> I've already started stripping it and washing my leaves. Got them over here and I've got my stalks over here ready to make another batch of concentrate. Now, I want to tell y'all that right now is the time as the plant is really thriving, coming up, growing everywhere. Now is the time to be uh, gathering as much leaves as you can so that you can make as much product as you can. Now, if you make the concentrate and you put your little bit of the vodka or PGA in it, or you can use a different type of alcohol that's going to preserve it. So you can make a quart jar uh, a half gallon jar, whatever you want to. What I was finding that if I use an equal amount of water as the stalks. So I used four cups of stalk, four cups of water. I yielded right between two to three cups of concentrate. So that's the way you can kind of estimate what you're going to be yielding. And then that's how you then come up with, well, how much will I be using? So there's your good way to start with that. Um, also with the leaves, uh, you start with the, the washing them, drying them. Now, you can dry them any way you want to, but something you need to remember with this plant is high heat kills the chemicals. It destroys that chemical in them. So we want to low simmer the stalks when we're cooking the concentrate. And if you use a heating type method with the leaves to dry, you're going to want to use a low heat if you're using like your oven or something like that. Now what I have found that I'm doing, now I have been using my fan on low simply because I didn't want the leaves spreading all over the bedroom. Now I got me one of those mesh laundry bags and I'm dumping all the leaves in it and I'm turning the fan on high and as I go in every day I'm turning that laundry bag it's taking 24 hours to dry now it's going much faster now uh, so there's you some things while the plant is really busting out right now this is our time for harvesting now we are going to want to be gathering the, leaf, the seeds, but it's still a little ways out. So I wanted to show y'all I got these seed bags, and I ordered them from Amazon. And when I see that they're starting to, as they set their stalk, as it's starting to get to the flower part, you put this over it, and then you jaw string it, and then all those little fluffy seed will be trapped in here so this is going to be my method of getting us some seed so i wanted to bring that to you uh, because we really need to start concentrating on gathering uh, while the plant is bountiful and that is right now we've got plenty of product to choose from they're on the side of road in parking lots all over but also be careful where people are spraying people have started mowing and people have started spraying so be very careful about that when you're gathering out but for those of you that are finding the plant and that are gathering and preparing this for yourself, now is the time to keep pushing on because then that way you can keep yourself a bounty for the next year until the next harvest. And this is what we need to start doing is paying attention. April is when the plant starts coming up and we start seeing it. May is when it shoots up and it starts having a lot of leaves on it. June, July is when it starts setting that stalk. We can start pulling the leaves from the base of the plant. Let me get this. Okay, so you see the plant right here. Well, now if this was growing in the ground... And I like to leave them in the ground if I'm growing it because then I know I'm going to put out more leaves. You can pull these small leaves like this because you know what's going to happen? 
this one's already done it it starts putting off another little shoot to sprout out more leaves so you can start pulling these leaves and every place you pull there's gonna be another little sprout that comes out to yield you some more leaves so if you've got plants this is what we're going to be doing. We want to increase our, yeaf, our leaf yield. And this um, is how we're going to cultivate the plant. Once we have it in our yard. Once we are growing it for ourselves. So I wanted to bring that to you real quick. I may have a few more little videos for you uh, before the night's up. I'm working on a couple of things while I have some energy. I, I uh, drank one of these new, uh, it's called Bang. I'm not going to do that again. I don't really feel that well. And, and I'm wound up like a, like a, whatever a wound up thing feels like. Okay, so until next video, y'all have a good evening and God bless you.